Yeah, new pinks. Um, Y'all let me know if you can or cannot hear us because I don't have our mics hooked up to that currently right now in this moment. So let me know how the vocals are other than the fact that <clears throat> I sound like I've been dancing in the rain for a month. So does the, does the sound sound okay? Sound sound sweet. You can hear me. I'm dig. So we're back from our trip where, let me just tell you, um, before we got on the ship, we stayed at a hotel in the port, left all of our bags in the car, and I was attacked by bed critters. I don't even want to say the words. Like, I don't even want to say the words. If you guys could only see how bad it is. And then I lost one of my rings on the ship, but a cute little girl was nice enough to find it for me. And then the ship overcharged me by many zeros. So we're getting back into the swing of things. And I'm starting to, I got inventory in while we were gone. I just put color passion in the system today. I'm so excited because we have a new color called Vivid Magenta. Vivid Magenta. It looks like this. It's a very watermelony color, and I was like, this looks perfect to put on this lip piece that I've been wanting to do. In person, it's a little lighter, but it looks really good. It's a really good pink. This is definitely going to sell out quick. Oh, let's not get the M&M's involved here. No, M&M's should not be discussed. And so... Where was that? We're going to art today, and on this art, we have just an MDF cutout of this lip piece that I had painted and I was gonna put like neons behind it, but I've decided <clears throat> St. Barth Caribbean, I wanna go. What's up, TG? Oh, and the last thing is, I apparently caught a cold on the way back. So that's exciting. But anyways, today we're gonna art and I'm so excited because I'm gonna use a brand new color that we just got in called Vivid Magneta. Or super poppy watermelon. But I'm not naming that stuff. I'm just arting with it. And so today I'm going to be using our Ace Resin Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. It's a favorite thing to work with for anything other than oceans because it gives me a really long working time. There's no smell to it unless you scorch it, which is on you. Got to be careful with that heat. And... It's heat resistant up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's scratch resistant, UV resistant, all the awesome things you Not really smell. need in a resin. It's in that. I can't smell today anyways. And I'm not mic'd because I don't want to sniffle all up in your ears too many times. So without further ado. Oh, another thing. My this. My resin mixer stand is finally available on Amazon. If you want to get your own Istoyo mixer, they did not pay me to say this, but they did send me one to review. If you've been watching my channel for about a month, I use it every time I mix resin. And now you can get your own on Amazon. I have it linked down in the description box below this video. It's not a direct link. If you just click my Amazon link down there, it should pop up. A little stir is draining over there. I do believe they come separate, though. I have no idea. So we're going to get started on our team. Think they separate? I think they're sold separate. I, I haven't purchased one myself, so I have no idea. Do I color match that pretty well, even though I'm going to mess up it? You guys, I've spent so many hours researching the case that I'm going to give you guys on my... Crime and Craft Wednesday. I can't even tell you guys how excited I am. Jeff's probably really over it because I've been just talking to him about I saw the all of it. You saw that my notes. Very first note. Very first one. Were you like, what is she doing now? Is she planning my murder? Mm -hmm. I, don't I don't know because a lot of my crime things that I do watch on YouTube say the M word. Unaliving. Voice? No, the other one. The unalivey one. Okay, so to 
paint with resin, I wouldn't use a paintbrush. I would just use a thick viscosity resin. Um, and that is because you're going to want to put lines down that you don't want moved. I imagine, because that's why you would be painting with resin instead of just pouring with resin. And so my tip for you is to use very minimal heat and to use a thicker viscosity resin. A lot of people thin out their resin by giving it a hot water bath before using it. You can go wild and crazy and give your resin a cooler water bath before you use it um, in order to thicken it up and give it a thicker viscosity. So I started with a dusty pink. It was a great color match choice. I'll move it around. Another key thing when working with resin that you want to stay where it is, it's gonna dome. And so what you're gonna wanna do, you may wanna zoom in on a part of this B, is I'm gonna be taking the resin up to an edge. And I'm not trying to fill it. Essentially, yes. But just be advised that wherever it is that you put the resin, it's going to go back, even if you wipe it off and give it a clean line. Even if you wipe it off with an alcohol rag, it's going to roll back into that area. So where you want to make sure you take as much time as you can is putting your lines down where you want them. If I wanted to, which I probably could even at this point, if I wanted to give this dark pink outline, I would just put it only in those areas. But the thing is, your resin is going to want to travel. Once I mix everything together, it's going to come in a little bit. For me, for this piece, that's fine. But if you wanted to have an outline that isn't incorporated into the rest of your piece, I would recommend doing the line first, your lip liner, if you will, on this piece, and then worrying about filling it in. Yeah, I'm not worried about that dark outline. Yeah, definitely. If you're trying to make something look like something specific, you're going to need to take your time. Time travelers, those Australians. So I've done one lip piece before, and I really enjoyed doing it. It actually turned out how I wanted it to, and it actually, actually sold recently. So I figured why not give it another shot this one looks a little bit different and how i'm going to do this one a little bit differently is i'm going to try to kind of darken the outer areas to give kind of a shading to the lip shape i don't know if it's going to really play that way but we'll find out together and also painting with resin in this style, you kind of have to trust the process a little bit. You can't just look at it how it is, for example, in this moment right now and feel it and not feel it and then decide to either proceed or not proceed because if you were to walk in on any of the great artists in the beginning of their art painting process and look at it, it would not look anything like the end result. I've really been kind of flustered with it because the process is it takes certain techniques and, and what you're doing and how to get to a, a better blend. I think people don't see that. Obviously, they don't see it, but I'm thinking, oh my God, this is ugly. You know, like, I, I'm not a fan of people watching me paint. It was almost done and I like it. Mm -hmm. the guy that has commissioned that monroe over there is like hey how's it going and i'm like nope you may not understand my process and so if i showed you a picture of the current state that the piece is in may get cold feet cold shoulder cold anything and so I reserve the right to give only close-ups of my artwork as a status check, progress report, which I'll probably finish the face on that tonight. 
just this like block of color and then I'll send an update. So making sure that you take your time to not go over your lines is probably the most time consuming part of this. But once that's done, you can kind of just go crazy with the rest of it. And I'm almost done with the time consuming part so I can get crazy with you guys. Listen, a little bit sloppy. it's not sloppy. It's the process. <laughs> I think I'm going to swipe some of it too, though. I brought some swipey papers and some white. I'm just testing my swipe theory right here. So I'm just gonna go like this. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's been a minute. Okay, so I always tell people, make sure that you have filled in all the blank areas before you swipe. And this is why, because your swipe isn't gonna pull your paint into the voided parts it's just gonna jump over them so before we proceed i need to go through and make sure i have no raw area and that can be done with a um like a skim coat as well but just be advised that you don't want to do too much of that because your surface is going to self-level down to an eighth inch and anything beyond that is going to run off. And so just take your time on this part to make sure that you have everything filled in so that you're not wasting time or swipe paper. I want to use as little heat as possible yeah, overall on the piece. Mm -mm. I feel like a smush would look really cool on this, but also I don't have another. You always love the balloons. All right, just a little boops, boops, boop, 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 boop. Looks like a little bit of a massacre in this moment, but trust the process. I have a lot of working time. No, it doesn't be. She's going to be beautiful. You just don't understand. I mean, you do, but also. I'm trying to swipe kind of at an angle so I can pick up bits of the white. So I can give that curvature, but it won't be solid white. So I picked up some pink, some white, and some of the, the new Vivid Magenta. And so I want to have these lip lines like this. So that's why all this crazy application doesn't really matter because all I'm going to do is swipe up and down to give the, the curvature, to give the lip some definition, to give it shape. I'm going to use directional swipes like so. I am. Yeah. But remember that when you come into the center of a lip, that you're not going to have like dome, 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 dome. At the center, you're going to have to come to straight and then dome in the opposite direction, going the opposite way. So when you paint something that's supposed to look like something specific, that those are things that you have to kind of think about. And take your time. And once I get this how I like it, I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. So I'm not really concerned about any of these gaps right here. I'm concerned with like two thirds. 
I'm using a new swiping paper every time. You don't have to. It's just personal pref. Now that I'm on the other side of this lip, I can go back to the curvature as I'm swiping around. I'm adding the whites kind of like a glossy highlight. You know, when you have a lip gloss and so there's the glossy highlight. Great. Swipe too soon. So I have to fix that. I also have some gold interference. I wasn't sure if I wanted to incorporate that in. What do you guys think? A little bit of shimmery pop. Mm. And as you go around, your resin is going to self-level and do things. You're, you may get some cells pop up. You never know what it's going to do, honestly. So... Don't get really fixated on any one part until you're, you're further along and you've let it kind of set a little bit. Do you want to do anything? Yeah. But definitely be mindful of how much resin you have on your piece. If you want it to kind of stick to itself, then don't put too much because it may bleed over into other areas. For example, I don't want any resin going up into my teeth. It wouldn't taste good for my model here. Having tasted resin many a times on accident, I can attest to the fact that just don't. Not going to be a fun time for anyone. All right, I think now I'm going to finish up this end. One of my favorite things about this swipe is how versatile it is. You don't have to really have anything cute happening, and then you can swipe through it, and then it's like, uh oh. get down with that look. This is the most successful way I found to paint a highlight on a lip without asking my husband to do it for me. Like in terms of doing it myself, not happening. Not happening because reasons. Okay, I'm gonna try putting just a little bit of this interference gold over here, just see if we like it, and then you guys let me know if we like it. I feel like a lot of lip glosses have that little shimmy shim highlight. I can see it over here. We have to tie this in a little bit better. Maybe do a little bit of a dip swipe, like a highlight. We have a little bit of the gold here. I'm just going to try not to mess myself up by adding just a little. A swoopy swipe of color. And by color, I mean just the gold. I don't want to mess up the everything that we've already done. So I'm going to take the highlight and put it through the parts that I don't like anyways, like this, these like gaps where I kind of swiped a little bit too fast. Mm, maybe like right here. 
The only thing is, it's a one swipe situation because once color gets on your swiping paper, that's going to be what presents. So. It's crazy. You can't see it from this angle at all. And then you go over it. I think it looks good. I think on the top of it, I may incorporate it from the jump, though. So I'll have to go back in and try to figure out where I want it. Just filling in the low bits that I neglected. Cool, perfect, love it. All right, and we're just gonna swipe up from here. And we'll see what it looks like when we have just a little bit of the shimmer through the center. If we don't like it, I'll just take it off and we will regroup. Start over with that part, yeah? Yep. Okay. She had a great time getting dirty though. All right, just like on the lower lip, I'm gonna do a curve. That's supposed to mimic the shape of a lip. It's supposed to. Beauty, how are you? I don't know if you can really see it. It may just have to be one of those things I add. I can't even see it. Oh, I think I can see it right here, but I'm not sure. Just a little hint. Okay, I put it on when I swiped it that time. Mm hmm definitely gonna just dip swipe it from here with those just put a little bit on my swipey paper just a little something something for the little guys I am not paying attention to my lip shape I'm loving it. Very Valentine's y, but I feel like I can make the argument that it could also be Halloween y. So, Randy, what I'm doing is not putting it there. True. I just domed it up to the edge. And as long as you keep the amount of resin on your surface under an eighth ounce across the whole thing, then you should not run into it. Just make sure not to thin your resin out too much um, as you're going. If you add some heat, like when I add heat, it will be very, very, very minimal. I feel like I've lost the highlight going through it other than what I put on my typing paper. So I'm just going to add to the swiping paper from here on so that the highlight is more obvious and will present all the way through the, the lip. Mm, yeah, what did I say? Oh, I'm I'm on copious amounts of Dayquil at the moment, so if I said something wild, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't judge me. All right. 
Remember in the center of the lip, not to get too crazy because you've got to account for it changing direction. So we're going to get a little bit straight and then start curving into the other direction. Unless you, you're at some weird angle or you're, you, you got too much plump in your lips that it doesn't look right anymore. Um, I'll call you whatever you want me to tutor. We love tutors. Also, I went to the dog park today and everybody said that their dog's favorite person is now tutor. A little thumb thumb lip liner. More white, okay. Yeah, acrylic, but you know, resiny, and you're obviously painting with it. Mm -hmm. It's just very long, it's very eager. You know what I mean? There's some stripes, but. I think a lot of that is also the fact that I wasn't putting my paper down through all the colors. I was kind of just picking up the. Um... So once I pick up all the colors, it's more of a striated. Added a little uh, pressure right there, and I scoop too much. So just know that that can happen. You're right, the bottom lip has way more white in it. But I added more white up here. I'm not sure what I could do different. Other than be sure that I'm landing my paper and the white and the pink and the dusty. I know. I couldn't see. I just kind of had to go with it. I know. Okay. So, ooh. so now we're coming to the end of this side of the mouth. And I'm going to go below my nose and <clears throat> we'll hit it with some heat. I am 110 to 130 percent sure I just got resin on my face. <clears throat> All right. In my head, I'm thinking I need to add some darker. So I'm going to add some of the new vivid magenta to this outside edge, along with some white. I don't have any more of the softer pink, but I have some of this darker pink. We're going to see if I can create a better look. I always recommend when you swipe to pull towards yourself. And the reason is because if I were to swipe to here, thousand percent, I would end up getting resin into my, I don't want resin right here area. I am going to trail off, though, towards my 
point. And what I mean by trail off is I'm going to swipe down like this, all horizontal. And as I do, I'm going to pick up everything but one of the corners so that I can create a seamless point. So I'll show you why. This is not going to be cute. It's just going to be for demo purposes. So if I were to just swipe and stop, I'm going to have this area, which is fixable. I mean, you just have to do some finagling. You just have to finagle. It's just easier if you bring it to a point and trail off your design as opposed to hard stopping. Was it on there? Was it readable? Always making sure to follow whatever shape lines that you have going on. For me, it's very domed because lip. Lippy lippy. Oh my God, I just blew fire. Oh God, I just caught my house on fire. Wasn't prepared. Cool. But, so you don't want to put too much heat because when you do, you're going to thin out your resin and it's going to be more likely to run and move and mess your lines up. So I'm strictly popping bubbles and making sure I have no floaters. This is not for any aesthetic look, no design elements. Just to make sure of whatever that is. And a little something right here. A little low spot right here. I'm going to just swipe through that. True, I am using my handy dandy star stick from artistfilldeath.com, which happens to be me. It has a handy point on the end of it, so if you need to just be specific about where you're doing things, point. And when I want to just mix my resin, I use this end. I don't know if you guys know this, but popsicle sticks are porous and that can mix bubbles into your resin. If you're doing a flat out piece like this, that's not going to really bother you too much. But when um, you're doing things in molds, you're going to need a little bit more control on your bubbles because once you have deep set bubbles, it's really hard to get them out. Just following along this line. Now we see the people in here, we only see 16 thumbs up, which we extremely appreciate. It would be nice if we could get 37 thumbs ups. Thumbs up in? giving the lines some definition. I am trying to wipe off my stir stick after each use so that I'm not um, transferring color or contaminating my cup of resin with other colors of resin. Namine, jelly beans.
think this works because I can load up a good amount of resin on my stir stick. Mm -hmm. And then as I'm moving it and depositing it, it's just flowing down my stick. So Top I can... Of the square paper image. I can run longer lines this way. I don't understand what top left square paper image. Oh, the... That blunt part. Yeah. I'll get that. Thanks for looking out, TG. And then we'll probably airbrush on this, so a lot of that it doesn't even matter. You got some cells. Which is kind oh, of... Oh, look at that. What is that? That uh, pink. What? Which pink? What is, look at that. That one is this one. Oh man, y'all, if you guys haven't used this, this is some of, I, this is some of my favorite pigments. Every color looks amazing in resin in this stuff. cannot wait to talk to you guys about the case I'm, it's like all that's on my brain it's hard for me to not be like and another thing because i know it's all stuff i'm going to want to talk to you guys about during the premiere They're sold separately the stand and the mixer they are sold separately well, it's a little crazy right well maybe some people don't want the convenience of not having to hold your mixer personally i like being able to just do whatever i need to do and have some free hands and free in case i have to go get you know a sippy sippy and while i'm mixing my resin or if i'm picking colors while my resin's mixing more convenient for me that way but I mean so you never know what works for some may not work for others and since um, resin self levels all this will kind of just push back in but it will leave that score of the dark pink but you can see it in the light that it, there's actual for now yeah but it'll it'll go back in it'll cover itself back up it'll be really nice I was trying to see if I wanted to try to oh well, that's good mm. Mm. hey just mix that in a little bit It's not as easy to work with broadside. Okay. So this. <clears throat> I'm just mixing in. Okay. Well, I can always swipe it back. Very nice, very nice. I think I'm okay with how she looks overall because I know that Jeff's gonna go through and add some airbrush. So now I have some resin left over to do some posters. Yeah. 
She went to go pick up some co-stairs. While she's doing that, I will make some room. If y'all are interested in the colors, I will put them right here and do a little flyover. That very shimmery pink. It's called Pretty in Pink Resin Art on our website. Um, that really poppy watermelon pink is Vivid Magenta by Color Passion. And we got the white is just the uh, Passion Top Cell White. The dusky pink is a dusky pink. And then that really pretty gold stuff that y'all saw or put on there is uh, Interference Gold. Mm -hmm. And just mix that in with some clear resin and you're good. Make some magic. Are you going to smush them? I'm going to smush them. Oh, that's going to look good if you put some of that fizzle in there. The gold fizzle. I found that I really enjoy the look of smushed coasters. I just, I wish I could be better about making that look on a larger scale. <laughs> that doesn't work that way. I don't know. We're going to start here and see what we can do. You don't want to put any of that. Oh, too late. Too late. Can you see that gold interference? Yeah, that's so fun. I'm just gonna line these up here. His hands are about to get crazy messy. Oh, look at that. I think I only have three of this pretty and pink color in stock. If I run out of it and you guys are interested, I'll have it back in stock soon, but Puppy Love is a close second. Puppy Love is a color? Uh-huh. There's Puppy Love, Pretty in Pink, and... And that is from... Resin Art. Resin Art. I wish I'd mix up a straight-up gold as well. Yeah. But... That's okay. I think the biggest smush we attempted to do was um, I think it was a 12 inch by 12 inch and it did not look as cute as the coasters but whatever So I used a shimmer on one side, the pretty and pink, and then just the vivid magenta on the other. <laughs> it looks like I have created a heart. And I think, I don't want to hit it with heat because um, I'll get this thing all kind of crazy. So I'll, I'll wipe my hands off after we get all the resin down. I haven't done that many like this where it's like an, a completely different color on one side than the other. So if I do pink on one and then white on one and smush them, see what happens. Transfer of color, yes. I hope you all Ooh. had an awesome week. What did I miss? That's a lot. I feel like I always miss something when we go out of town. How awesome does that color lay out? Like it's it solid. Does. It's great. It's very nice color.
All right, I'm gonna press, rotate, pull apart, and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I like them. It looks a lot like those roses that so, have like the white and pink accent. What I suggest if you guys uh, get these from us, the uh, the MDF coasters, um, if you can see um, the the resin will not go where the resin has not been if there's not a lot. So what I recommend is. Um, when you put these out, make sure you tap all the sides all the way around so that um, it looks cohesive and you have a nice little edge. Because if not, sometimes it'll uh, the, the resin will kind of go back, withdraw, and then you'll have these really rough sides. Then you'll have to sand them, and then you'll have to paint them, which is not a bad thing because then it gives it a nice little look. But um, if you want to stay away from sanding, which we really prefer to do, um, just hit the sides um, and if you've put too much on and you go you know and you check on them maybe you know 30 minutes 45 minutes later um, and you and you see some bubbles hit them with the heat um, if you notice there's you know some it's coming off like that like it's running down just just move it you know just kind of out of the way of itself there and then that should take care of like a big drip, you know, like a little offload of the uh, the resin. We got 45 people in here. If you guys just joined us, she finished painting this lip using the swipe technique, basically. Put some interference gold in there, which really looks nice when you just kind of look right down on it. Very nice, subtle, to where you can't really see it back here. But it is there. Oh, she's going cray cray. Not too crazy. There's a little, little white on here. Dip swipe. It's a little dip swipe. I don't know where I'm going to go with it, but. Done. I'm gonna hit with some heat. Um, and this one, I think I'm gonna try to use the blower. Sorry for all the movement, y'all. I'm just trying to set this little blower up for her. All right, so as I put these up, I'm oh, just going to show that. you guys that what they look so like. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Julie, we do classes all the time. You can do one-on-one. -on -one. You can set up a class for multiple people, parties. Mm -hmm. Um... Yes. I want to do this also one. Do swipe classes. I mean, Skype classes. Swipe classes. You, you can do a swipe classes. Swipe classes. We did that all through Australia. We did swipe and know when to stop. <laughs> mm, that one got away from me a little bit. A little bit. I may re smush that one. We'll hold it. We'll hold it aside. I just love that this this color and this color are almost the same, but you can right. tell that they're not because one of them is like a super shiny. Oh yeah, and they the look other good together. Not the juxtaposition between a flat and a shimmer is one of my favorite things. This is what I was talking about, it coming off, and just moving it. I moved this. I remember moving this butterfly 
But this is one of our peel ones. These are our acrylic. Look how good that looks. That's all peeled off. I'm going to show you this one before I put it in. Oh, yeah, very nice. Hold on. Which is... Oh, all these are done. Yeah. You guys want to see some um, peeling off ones? I've been wanting okay, to do this. Let's do this and then we'll do that. Yeah, let me... Um, we'll... I'm just trying to make room as well. Some of these did not turn out well. <laughs> oh, I really like this one. It also reminds me of one of those, like, Werther's cream oh, man. smoothie one. That looks like, awesome. Hard candies. Yeah, that looks amazing. Ooh, look at that black and gold, y'all. That looks so good. Where will y'all be pending your... Oh, posting your gorgeous works? What's the question? Um, where will we be posting our works, I think is what she meant to say. Hi, Donna. I think it's Julie Who that's asking... You? Details to the piece and see if you love it more or the same. But yes, we'll be for sale. Those are so fun. When, where will you next be peddling your work? So I have a lot of work listed on our website, artistillet.com, and um, we'll have. Oh. I think there's a nice. video up now of what we have left over from the fall art sale. Can't go wrong with it. Very nice. Got some coasters in the making. Look how good that looks, y'all, with our see-through coasters. Hi, big girl. Acrylic coasters, y'all. No cleanup. Look how pretty that is. These are, uh, you can hang them, like, from uh from your window that would look so nice in a in like in a kitchen window very nice these need a little bit of cleanup a little wiping down but it would be all right there's nothing on this <clears throat> so interested so interested are you go <laughs> <Go bitching. laughs> that's nice i would just leave that that looks great I want to add just one more. Bye, Sue and Judy. I don't understand. Oh, we need to stop that um, camera. Oh, I have sticky fingers. Forgot I was making a... Time lapse. Time lapse. You guys want to see the time lapse? See. What? I need to do this last one. Okay. Look, it's going. <laughs> Just talking. <laughs> this could be a whole painting. All yeah, that looks own. nice. Never underestimate the power. Yeah, just a little simple simplicity. swipe and then add a little something, something to it. Looks good. All right, I don't know if this is still fluid, but we're going to liquidate it up. And try to blow on it. I love it. Look at that, y'all. It's so simple. There is. And when you put that, sugar. so you put that line down, right? You put that line of uh, pretty. What is it? Pretty, pretty in pink. And then when you pushed it. You literally like made petals of flower with just that and see there's the the vivid magenta mm -hmm. look at that so look how the good that goes looks into the flat of right the and that white <whistles> very nice all right 
have this one Looking thing. Looking good. This one, this. I'm not sure. Yeah, you need to wrap this up. Yeah, let's see what <laughs> I can do with. Oh, that is a lot. Yeah, that is. The last, it's the last coaster, and then I'm going to go blow my nose for 42 minutes. I hope you guys tune in for my crime and craft coming up this Wednesday, where I will tell you all about a crazy, crazy girl this time who got married to a, a gentleman and put a head out on him. And Cops, the TV show, was there to catch it all on tape. And so there's so much footage. I'm so excited to show it to you. Just cut my nose off. I'm just cut it off. Yeah, it's so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I don't know. Let's hit it with some heat, and then I'm just going to do, like, a circular swipe. Also, for me, you guys, don't torch stuff in your hands because I don't want you to burn yourself. <laughs> the geode swipe. It is an improvement of what it was before. I don't remember how we did the ocean pour. Which ocean pour? Somebody left a comment. We'll see you later, Sue. Thanks for joining. Donna Parker loves the lips. TG is leaving. Bye, TG. This is the last piece, so. I don't know. I don't know, but. That looks good. I like it. It's fun. I think it's an improvement of where she was. Yeah. All right, you guys, so tune in tomorrow where we'll be going live at 2 o'clock Central here on our channel. I don't know what we're going to be doing. Probably going to be working on this piece uh, to wrap it up. And come on, baby. Mm, a big boy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. The colors that we used were Vivid Magenta from Color Passion. Pretty in Pink from Resin Art, Interference Gold from Resin Art, Passion Top Cell White from Color Passion, and Dusty Pink from Color Passion, all of which are currently in this moment have in stock. So if you want them, check it out at artistillbeth.com along with my reusable stir sticks. And if you want the stirrer and the blower that we use and the stirrer stand, you can get it from our Amazon link down in the description box below this video. Sorry for the sniffles. And I will see you guys. She came in like a wrecking ball. She did. And we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Until then, be kind to one another. You know what is tomorrow? Two o'clock Tuesday. Central. But I gotta go blow my nose. So be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. So you don't have to. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I said bye. You said bye.